Hello ILGA family! In this video we will show you what information and data you can find in our annual Treaty Bodies reports. And we hope that this will help you in your Treaty Bodies advocacy. ILGA World has been publishing annual Treaty Bodies reports since 2015 and on our website section Resources. You can find these reports for six years, from 2014 till 2019. Let's look what you can find in our latest 2019 annual Treaty Bodies report. Since 2018, our reports consist of three parts. The report itself, in English and in Spanish, and the compilation of references. The compilation is available only in English, but each reference is accompanied by a hyperlink where you can find all the documents in all the UN official languages. Usually it's English, Spanish and French, but sometimes it's also Russian, Chinese and Arabic. Now let's see what we have in the main reports. First of all, you can see here main definitions. So don't be afraid if you see a technical term when reading the report. You can go to the section to see what is, for example, follow-up procedure. Then we also have a list of acronyms to help you to read the report. And you can find here an executive summary of the whole report and one page with main figures relevant for the year. Our reports always include a general chapter with an overview of main developments made by all treaty bodies during the respective year. In 2019 annual treaty bodies report you can also find an overview of SOGES developments by treaty bodies since 2014. You can see the table of contents with the hyperlinks to specific sections of the chapter or chapters. In each report we have chapters devoted to each of the nine main treaty bodies or committees. In these chapters we provide general information on SOGESC references made by the committee in the year, also information on themes covered by the committee, with specific attention to criminalization, gender identity and gender expression, sex characteristics, and women. Then we have sections on the committee's decisions on individual communications, general comments, and follow-up recommendations, and information about references to HIV and sex work. Let's see how it looks like, for example, for the Committee on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women. So you can see here general information on SOGESC references by SIDO in 2019 and data on each country under review. An overview of themes covered by SIDO during 2019. And here is one trick. If you see a mention of a country you are interested in, you can go to the compilation document and find there the exact paragraph related to LGBTI. For instance, here we have Serbia. We go to the compilation, we look for concluding observations and list of issues. Then we go to CEDO. And then we find Serbia. Click on this. And voila, see the exact reference. Back to the main report and its committee-specific chapters. We have here specific information on references to criminalization, then sections on gender identity and gender expression, sex characteristics, and women. Then we have sections on treaty bodies' decisions on individual cases, and new general recommendations, as well as follow-up recommendations. And finally, we have a section on references to HIV and sex work, which are not necessarily connected to SOGESC directly. In these boxes, under each section, you can find suggestions or advice to LGBTI defenders who wish to engage with the committee. You've seen how this information was collected and organized for each of the nine committees. If you know that your country will be reviewed soon by one of the treaty bodies, you can go to our latest report and see what this committee could be interested in. Consequently, what information you can include in your shadow reports and then, hopefully, receive useful recommendations to your government. In the main reports, we also have annexes, the list of countries reviewed during the year, a collection of civil society reports mentioning SOGESC, 
any table with statistical information on SOGIAS preferences in the committee's concluding observations. In the list of countries reviewed by treaty bodies, we have all the countries organized in alphabetical order, so you can easily find your own country. Then you can see what committees reviewed your country this year and whether or not there were any questions or recommendations on LGBTI. For example, Bolivia. In 2019, had sessions by the Committee on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, the Human Rights Committee, the Committee on Migrant Workers, and the Committee on Enforced Disappearances. Italic means pre-session and questions to the government. Bold means main sessions and recommendations. Those in white include references to LGBTI. We see that Bolivia received Sergiusk inclusive questions from SESCOR and the Human Rights Committee and recommendations on LGBTI from CERD. After that, you can see also an annex with the collection of all civil society shadow reports submitted to the nine committees. They are organized according to the committees and within each of the committee according to the countries, again in alphabetical order. You can find here happy links to the reports and a short description of LGBTI-related information included to the report. If you want to check what organizations have been working with a certain committee or to see how shadow reports can look like, this section will be very useful for you. Finally, we have a table with statistical information and references to SOGESC by nine treaty bodies from 2014. You can see also specific data on trans and in-sex references. As you can see, the committees made a huge progress in terms of LGBTI human rights since 2014. In 2014, we had 54 references to SOGESC in the concluding observations. In 2019, we had already 137 such references. One of the main reasons for this progress is active participation of LGBTI defenders in the committee sessions. That was about our main report. As I said earlier, we have it in both English and Spanish. And we have another part, a compilation of references made by nine treaty bodies during the year. Here you can find a collection of specific documents and paragraphs on LGBTI human rights. We have three chapters here general recommendations or interpretation of specific rights by the committees, decisions on individual communications, specific cases brought to treaty bodies after the exhaustion of national domestic remedies, and paragraphs from the committee's list of issues, questions to the government, and concluding observations or recommendations to the government. These paragraphs are organized according to the committees and then countries in alphabetical order. The last interesting tool which you can find here is our keywords. We index all LGBTI-related paragraphs according to topics, populations and grounds. You can see that we have a lot of them here. If you are interested in a certain topic or population, you can easily find all relevant references using this tool. For instance, imagine you want to know what recommendations have been made by treaty bodies on training programs for officials. We have here a specific keyword training. There were a number of references on this topic and we can check all of them. For example, we can see that SESCOR made a recommendation on training healthcare professionals on the health needs and human rights of insex people. And this recommendation was made to Denmark. That's it. We hope our reports will be useful for you. If you have any feedback, please let us know. And if you want to organize your own advocacy with treaty bodies, we are here to support you. You can contact us on untreaties at ilga.org and find more resources on our website at ilga.org. For real-time updates, you can also follow us on social media. Enjoy reading our report and see you next time.